Hello, welcome to Football Land. It's me, Mark Davison. Uh, on my left is Ryan Baxter. That's weird, isn't it? Because I'm going to have to put myself in people's left ear now. In, yeah, in the mix. But that's where you like to be, though, isn't it? I sometimes just listen with one headphone, so I won't hear you at all. This oh. is Anthony so, on my right. Yeah, no, so I'm on your right. If um, you're listening with one headphone, then it's, there's loads of silence coming up. Guys, I've got really terrible news. Oh, um, no. We're getting closer and closer to opening this park. Yes, uh, that's good the world's news, greatest isn't it? football theme. Where we haven't built anything yet. Oh. Yeah, we're, we're, we've been given a billion dollars to build a football themed theme park yeah, I know, in the Mark. Qatari desert. You don't need to tell me. Oh, sorry, I thought you'd. Why are you telling what me? We I know we're not doing. Well, we, ha- we don't have a billion dollars we've got a billion dollars minus uh, uh, the, the the amount it costs to get a yeah. laptop and a nice pen. Oh, pen i've got some expenses you've got some expenses what, have you what been expenses doing? have you got well it's just like a little bits like glue like the washing machine for the steve mechanical ball was free because i just used yeah you're right washing yeah. machine yeah, yeah. yeah. But that's not the actual steve mechanical ball is it that's a prototype model yeah what about yeah, the dildo the, was that free no that but these are still expensive that's mm. the thing like mm. i one, I need to get a new washing machine because mm. I've been washing my hands. It's just covered my clothes. in lube. <laughs> it's covered in lube and I've been washing my clothes by hand for the last six yeah, in a mangle. 18 months. Yeah. Um, yeah, and there's all sorts of like, little bits of solder, lots of gaffer tape. Yeah. It's just little stuff that's building up. Yeah. And you've got a pen and you've got a laptop. I have so been testing fair. Gary Lineker's Shit Your Pants Loop the Loop. Ooh. I have been testing that myself. I've got a swing in my back garden that I've managed to get it to go all the way around. Have you got a very private garden? Very private garden. <laughs> very big trees. Very established trees yeah, at the bottom good. there. Thank God. Um, and uh, I've put up a screen anyway of corrugated iron. Uh, and yeah, I've just put... So, so, you know the Romans actually used to wipe their bottoms with sponges? Oh, I did sponges not know on that. sticks. Yeah, if you go to Hadrian's Wall, um, there's a whole photo of it. <laughs> photo. <laughs> yeah. There's a whole photo of it. Not a partial photo. A whole photo yeah. has survived from Roman times. Well, it's, it's not of a man exhibited. It's a guy outside in Wall's End. His bum. <laughs> Some Geordie bloke just uh, showed you a photo of whatever his bum with a stick. They really <laughs> wanted to be quite a distance from their bums, didn't they? Well, they shared it. It was a communal. Oh. It was a communal oh. bum what? wiping thing. How, yeah. How did they? You don't see this on Greg. Jenner's podcast about history. You don't see this with Tony Robinson, but yeah, they got a sponge on a stick, they wipe their bum, and then you dab it in some water, and then you give it to the next person while looking them in the eye. At least there's some water. But I can just say to you now that the sponge is on the the swing seat, Mm. and I've gone on it, and I go one loop, and afterwards I'm clean as a whistle. Absolutely clean as a whistle. That's brilliant. Anyway, Anyway, I know we've got to get cracking and build stuff, Mm. and we've got too many ideas, if anything, Mm. but how about we just do one more spitballing of three more more. ideas? This is the last Last one, one. and then we get building, lads. Last one. Last one. We've got a Patreon later as well. Oh, great. We've got (gasps) a Patreon coming up. from Patreon, so looking forward to that. Okay. Okay. Let me take your hand. Right, so I'm going to kick off this episode and I am presenting to you John Terry's Football Land Farewell Tours. John Terry, not known for humility or <laughs> reining things in. You may no, remember no. five, six years ago when he retired, for, well, when he left Chelsea actually because he played another season after he left Chelsea, he played for Aston Villa in the Championship at the time. When he left Chelsea, he organised the most self-indulgent farewell moment in the history mm. of football. Mm. It's astonishing. It was around the time of England's golden generation all retiring mm. and they were all quite indulgent, elongated farewells quite torturous Steven Gerrard's farewell it was just getting hammered by Stoke 6-0 wasn't it <laughs> yes absolutely no, uh, and that, and no, you... well his last Anfield appearance was at, against Crystal Palace yeah and mm. they lost because Ooh. everyone it was like 3-1 or something because everyone was like oh boohoo Steven Gerrard's leaving which yeah, great servant for the club but just you, you've still got a job to do it's yeah, not like a pretty season game, friendly but, uh, yeah and I mean did it his matter his last really? ever game I'm pretty sure you're right was away to Stoke and they got absolutely thumped yeah but John Terry's farewell was the most protracted of all of them. He yeah. arranged, because his shirt number was 26, uh, it was a fixture at Stamford Bridge against Sunderland. He arranged on the 26th minute for whoever had possession to put it out. Yeah. And then a guard of honour from both teams clapped him off the field. Uh, yeah. And I I mean, the only how, satisfaction... How did I... bookmakers um, not get... I mean, there must have been some suspicious betting, betting patterns there. Well, you'd thought he wouldn't have kept quiet about that. He would have told mm. everyone. Did, did we know in advance that was going to happen? I can't remember. Well, 
I remember I, it happening. I think they and just organised it at the time. Thinking, what the it, hell it wasn't is going quite on? like. I mean, during the the First World War, when they all put down <laughs> their guns and had a football match on Christmas Day. Yeah, they didn't. I, I don't think the bookies knew about that. No. Yeah. So, like, you know, anyone betting on that at the time, I think, wouldn't have yeah. got audited. I always wonder why John Terry was wearing a kind of Tommy outfit. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it was so. It was quite strange. <laughs> when when the team lined up for the handshake, now. he was he was in his own little trench. So yeah, he's bad. Yeah, they, they nearly they nearly <laughs> they nearly trod on his head because he was lower than everyone else. So yeah. So I'm guessing. I, I, do you know what? I hope it's not Mark. I hope it's not every time someone leaves football land at the end of the day, we've got to clap them for 26 minutes. No. Because that is going to be an absolute nightmare to police. No, what this is, is in honour of the indulgence from John Terry, uh, we hire him to organise anyone who is about to retire or yeah. have a leaving due, they're changing jobs or they're moving house or whatever. Mm -hmm. You can pay a small fortune and John Terry will organise something massively indulgent to happen on your trip to Football Land. Oh, Ooh. so not at your workplace. No, no. You don't, no, you don't you know, put the photocopier down and everyone serenades you well, as you leave. It could be part of it. Mm. I think there's no end to John Terry's mm. uh, indulgence. He, yeah. he could go the extra mile if you require. It'll cost you. Well, it won't cost you anything because he'll give you an NFT. He'll yeah, print a so picture of a monkey on Microsoft Paint. He'll give that to you, and that will be worth at, you know double. Yeah, in a couple of years. Yeah, I mean that's a funding avenue for sure. That helps us as well. Yeah, or well, does it actually? If we charge the Earth and pass on a little bit of that to John Terry, it's probably better for us. Isn't yeah, it? yeah. So you can have whatever you want. I'm thinking, uh, you know, if if you've served at a company for 26 years, then. 26 minutes past each hour, the whole of Football Land stops, gives you a two-minute standing ovation. Yeah. Everyone in the park, you, you can tell them how they address you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you can demean everyone else, like the Sunderland players. I'm sure most of those Sunderland players in 2017 did not want to do that. No, no, no of course but not. Especially not Duncan to. Watmore. He <laughs> kicked off. Duncan, if you well, he's got a university footage, degree. He mm. is flicking V's yeah. at that guard of honour. Mm. Uh, not a lot of people picked up on that at the time. Yeah, he's sort of clapping, but in like the Star Trek sign, like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah. That you, it's very clearly a V motion. Mm. Well, Vulcans can't clap, so it, it doesn't. It doesn't make a sound. If you try and clap using the Vulcan symbol, it doesn't make a sound. They actually can they scissor. They yeah. can scissor, yeah. That's that's, that's there. That's quite sexy. Up to after dark, it's actually really quite, mm. quite sexy. Yeah, it um, is. is it one per day? Because there's nothing worse than when you're in a restaurant and someone ha yeah. someone sings happy birthday on another table, yep. and you've all got to pretend to smile and look around mm. and, and admire it. I, and just I go, sing oh, when that's that happens. Nice, Do you not it? sing? No, no, no. I try and ignore you are both it. Miserable. Yeah, I try and, and ignore I it. find it an affront to my you know because I've paid for this meal yeah and this experience bah, why am I having to they need to give people ear defenders w would either of you actively sabotage an anonymous happy birthday in a pizza express yeah I, I would if I could if but, I was have like, you no but now you've planted that seed <laughs> uh, I'm going to time that with my toilet break so oh, shit on the cake as the cake comes <laughs> Yeah, That's a bit much, mate. I, well, I was going to go for blow out the candle on the way past, but... or with a gust of wind as you pass, yeah. oh. or maybe even just an, an extra. Oh, sorry, bit of... guys. <laughs> oh, that's Subtle. a lovely cake. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> so, so yeah. can you have someone sabotaging um, John Terry's big day? Because nobody actually likes John Terry. Yeah, it's so, true. So why? I mean, it would be it would be very grating for everyone to be having to having to respect not only John Terry but some douchebag that it's their last day at a a a x a well, insurance. I think it's important to go back AXA. to AXA. <laughs> AXA. <laughs> AXA is its name to the rest of the population. Yeah. If we go back to John Terry's final appearance in the Premier League, mm. he was hated then, but he still got away with it because yeah. of John Terry. So my plan originally, although it's changing and that's fine, my plan originally was you get people to pay an obscene amount of money and yeah. they control whatever they want and John Terry has to organise it. Uh, one person a day. John Terry can't be, look at his diary, he can't be organising more do, than one do a day. Do we do one a day or do we have a day devoted to leaving dues where it's just carnage? Leaving do day. Leaving, leaving yeah. do day. 
We've just called it Do Day. Get them out of the way. Yeah. I'm just trying to think of John Terry's workload, and I just don't know if he's going to be able to. He's not Mrs. Doubtfire. He's not going to be able to run around or like the yeah. Vicar of Dibley when she had seven Christmas dinners. Yeah. Poor John Terry. We're going to have to get him, um, hook him up with a wedding planner. Because yeah. like an events organizer, but pressure—that's the most pressured events organizer he, you can have. He's very—he's a very organized man. Like um, he, when he became a coach, mm. um, a lot was said about him turning up with a with a notepad and pen. Yeah. Oh yeah. A I mean, lot was big. made of that. <laughs> yes. <Yeah>. So <laughs> he, he even had a spare pen in case the first yeah. one ran out. Is so low in football, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. There was a lot made of that. Um, so I don't I don't worry about that aspect of John because I think he's very dedicated. Yeah. Um, you know, who's very dedicated to himself and his own leaving. Yeah. I, think I think that's that might important, though, isn't it? I He's, think that might translate. We're uh, we're going to have to tell him this is you replicating your leaving do yeah. every day. Otherwise, because he's not going to do something for someone else. Well, he yeah. chose the number 26 because um, he wanted to sit next in the, in the dressing room to Zola oh. and yeah. learn from Zola, who is like number 25. Right. Yeah, and so not, not let's let's sit him at football and next to the best wedding planner we can find. Yeah, who is twenty seven years old, Jennifer Lopez. Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> <laughs> she's a bit older than that. Uh, but she she's got to be. She's got to be twenty seven. Oh, he has got to be twenty seven. She's she's a very she's um wildly sort of like quite widely known as a method actor. Mm. Um, is she? Yeah, she's yeah, very, she's like the Daniel Day Lewis. She's like pop, Daniel Day Lewis of pop um, slash of, acting. Yeah, acting. Kind of, yeah, acting. And um, and she went full method when she did that film. Yeah, uh, the wedding planner. If it was J Lo, that I'm, um, I think, I, yeah, right. Yeah. But, so um, it might not have even been her. It might not have even. That been. That is the dedication. That's to the how, yeah, she <laughs> she got so into the role that she became a wedding planner, and then actually couldn't make the shooting of the film yeah mm. so they, so they, they might send... use another actress if that's if i am misremembering and she wasn't even oscar nominated for that it's no, a travesty it was jennifer a travesty. Lo- it was jennifer lopez oh, she then. starred alongside matthew mcconaughey yes. who is into football himself we bring him in yeah uh we link him up with jt jt and jlo jt and jlo yes and he can be J-Lo-T. we change his name to jp so that they're all together in the dressing room well, Matthew at football. Why did it Matthew McConaughey <laughs> Because he was in the wedding planner. Yeah, I know, but... Uh, and he loves wait, his football. We're going to have to pay for J-Lo. Yeah, we And may. JT. Don't bring McConaughey in. He's, he's, he needs a J name as them, well. And Gwyneth Paltrow. Give them all <laughs> NFTs. J-Pal. Gwyneth Paltrow loves NFTs. JT can just give him all in each... And we, we make him just go on... Give him a printer and like a Game Boy Advance, you know, which had the little printer next to it. Yep. Do you remember yeah. that? Yep. And yeah. just get him drawing those shit pictures he does. Yeah. And yep. maybe we get him to draw the logo of Football Land, which we then can then sue him for. So then we can make money out of that. I will vote this in if I never have to meet JT. Great. Done. All right. Yep. Done. That's okay. okay. We can arrange All right. that. All in favour of John Terry's Football Land Farewell Tours becoming part of Football Land after three, say aye. Three, two, one. Aye. 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 Congratulations, Mark. That's a winner. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, just keep him away from me. Footballland. Anthony, you have a ride stroke experience to suggest. This is a ride idea. It's called Alison's Packer. Now, I want to make this really clear. This is not to do with genitals, okay? We've we've got so many genitals, and I know that Alison Becker, I mean, you can misconstrue that yes. to, to become... A like a penis pun, penis shaped ride. Yes, mm-hmm. it's not a penis. It's not. This needs to be a ride that children can enjoy too. Okay. That we've got so many. I've got a quick and, and suggestion. Can, go on, Alison's Sheave it. Woodbecker. Yeah, yeah, Alison's Woodbecker. Yeah, you're right, Alison's Woodbecker. Woodbecker. Yeah, Woodbecker. No, woodbecker. no. Woodbecker. If you want to get away from penises, adding the word wood <laughs> is not going to help. <sighs> This is an amazing experience. Mm. Um, 30 people at a time. So imagine the Whoa. queue. The queue is going to go down quickly, 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 Good. quickly. Lot and it ties queues. into, you know, the, the the shared experience, which was so magical about Squid Game. Like, oh, Death. we're all playing this together. And, yeah. you know, who's the last person? It's going to be amazing. But you don't die if you lose straight away. Imagine a giant area, a uh, circular area about the size of 
a squash court. <laughs> what, what do you mean? What's that? A no, it's not, it's, not, it's, not, it's not a squash court, no. It's a circular area. I'm, I'm imagining about the size of a cricket pitch, okay? Oh, a so cricket that, pitch, that's, yeah. yeah. Fiberglass Allison. Fiberglass Allison. Allison. Fiberglass what? Allison, what? which would be a great name for a child. <laughs> or a, <laughs> a very tall child. At or school. an indie band. Oh, this is a Fiberglass Allison. Welcome there to the class. Right. Um, <laughs> stands in the middle. Right How big? On, oh, uh, well, so big. That when you know those birds that drink, you know those executive toy birds when you they're yeah. full of water and they peck water. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's the mechanism we're thinking, okay? Yeah. But it can go three sixty degrees around so the cricket he's, pitch he's on an axis as as, as the, the boundary rope radius of the pitch. Yeah, but the head can go up and down, so you Ooh. can so it can peck anywhere on the cricket pitch. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It can peck anywhere. Yeah. And it's quite random. No, it's heat seeking. It's heat. <laughs> Ooh. It's heat seeking. It's almost like it's you're making this up on the spot. Bird. Yeah. Allison, right. the goalkeeper, in full goalkeeper kit, yep. but with a giant woodpecker's beak. Oh. Okay. Yeah. And that beak is about the size of a human, right? Uh, it's okay. a, like a tunnelly beak. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. These 30 people, you get lo- let loose on the cricket field, you're running around, you're trying to avoid being pecked by Allison. Mm. Okay. So Allison, like. Bends down, pecks, heat seeking, remember, so mm. he's trying to find you and peck you up. Yeah. Okay. You get pecked up, you get swallowed and sent down into the shaft of Allison. <laughs> Into the fiberglass shaft. No, down gem- a- no, no, gem- no, 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 just a just no, a tunnel, okay. a bit no, like okay. a, you know, a, you know, as we said before, outside a builder's um, scaffolding, you know, those yeah. big bucket Full things that you yeah. put the waist down, Christmas yeah. tree, you know, that, thing. The, no, yeah. not that. Anyway, and you get sent down that if you get yeah. pecked up mm-hmm. into the gift shop. Ooh, into the gift shop and the exit. Okay, so yeah. that's your slide out. Last yeah. person there wins and gets a. Little signed photo and Q and A with Loris Carrius gets to avoid the <laughs> gift shop. <laughs> avoid yeah. the gift shop because the gift shop's sh- really shit. Yeah, it's all just Simon Minulay stuff. So yeah, simple pecking device. Yeah, and it's just fun for everyone. It and, sounds and great. I think we literally, you know, we need to at football and there's so many penis rides. I think we even just say on the sign like this, you know, children, this is a penis free sign. You know, <laughs> <laughs> there's no penises here. Or, or we put that in the literature somehow. You know, like a limerick. We do a one-off late night and summer special where <laughs> you're getting hoovered up by Ooh. Pecker's Pecker. <laughs> Becker, 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 yeah, Becker. Yeah, yeah. And that can be the after night, so the, the Hollyoaks late night special he's taller, version. Yeah. And he's sort of bending forward. Well, he's thrusting like grease. Yeah, he's he's sort of drilling his pinoche <laughs> into the ground, but if you're caught underneath it, you get sucked up. Well, it's heat seeking. Heat yeah. seeking, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, we just uh, need to make doubly sure that when there's children around, that yeah, element of the ride is yeah. not active. Well, it's after dark. We need to say, you know, this is an 18 after dark. So we have a giant lycra sort of Liverpool goalkeeper's kit for daytime, but yeah. then you can unzip it or unpop <laughs> it, and then it turns like quite a sexy. My, my, my wife yeah. fancies Alison. Uh, right. Unashamedly says he's gorgeous. Oh, he's really nice looking. Yeah, um, he's a lovely man. But as with well. a with a massive ten foot beak. Well, she's which, into birds, so she's right. that would be an improvement in her. Yeah. I don't think eyes. the beak needs to be ten foot. There's not many ten foot humans. He said the beak seven foot. That's a good yeah. point. What if Yang Collar's playing? I wouldn't. <laughs> I don't think we need to add an extra three feet onto the beak. Can we? Um, can we? And also, you need to sort of when he when he picks you, picks mm. up. I think there's got to be a suction device in that. Yeah. So it sucks you up, and then you know when a bird yeah. um, swallows water, and it like. Arches yeah. its neck back and sort of yeah. like that sort of motion. Yeah. I don't think we can rely on magic. <laughs> when, <laughs> how that happen? When that's happening, mm. do you have a chance of escape? If if he's doing his bird throaty wobble, can you get back out the beach? I think so. I think you can. Um, and let's, for goodness' sake, let's be safety orientated here. Let's put some small trampolines around or bouncy castle, sort of, just around the the fall zone. Around yeah. Allison, we've got to make sure that's not in range of his beak. Because if he pecks a trampoline, he's going to smack the back of his head on the other side of the pit. <laughs> uh, I don't remember the story of um... them. No, this isn't a parable. Oh, uh, I was going to say, <laughs> yeah, it's not in the Bible. This one. <laughs> I, don't I was going to say the story of the giant beak. I don't remember the story of, a penis of Jonah and the whale. Um, <laughs> but. <laughs> But I, I remember, I, I think a fella lived in there for a bit. Mm. Is there that opportunity? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there is actually an opportunity to live inside Alison. Like, for, yeah. For could, if, you, could you kind of stop yourself yeah, sliding? Like, a bit, 
Yeah, a bit Stop. how I imagine chimney sweeps in Victorian yeah. Britain used to sort of climb up, scale up, scale up and scale yeah. down. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it's... if we need to clean it as well, we need to get some chimney mm. sweeps up there. Let's bring chimney sweeps back. For goodness sake, yeah. it's a dying trade. It's a dying trade and we need children to are underemployed as it is. We can get the employment figures up. If yeah. you know. Can we get the Allison, fiberglass Allison to bend at the knee and mm. sit down? <laughs> and so could 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 you, could you like be hoovered up by his bum? I think so. Ooh. Yeah, I think so. And that's to get the child friendly, there. isn't it? Yeah, I had to get mm. the bum in there. It is child friendly. It's more, maybe, more friendly than maybe if your penis on his face. If you're pecked, if you're pecked up yeah. and you fail to escape the throaty wobble, mm. as you're sliding <laughs> towards the gift shop, mm. you have a chance. He will sit down randomly, and if it coincides with you going past that bit oh, of his yeah. anatomy, you can. Hang a yeah. left and and get, get up through the bum straight back into it's the like game. a second yeah. life. Yeah. yeah, that's nice. The one thing I do know about woodpeckers, oh yeah, is they make that noise from pecking on the wood. Yeah, like, it's like yeah, <laughs> really that's right. quick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, could, we have, could we have different tempos? <laughs> yes, so yes. The, yes. You know, there's the occasional nod of like, yeah, got that kid. Yeah, got like that the, kid. the drinking bird. And then easy. all of a sudden, it's yeah. it's just hoovered up. I don't know, fourteen of the thirty. Yeah. How sharp is his beak? Because if he, if the heat seeking, or if you're particularly fast and you're trying to avoid it, could you get speared by the pointy bit of the beak? Well, we could just put a soft bit on the end. Mm. Yeah, like it looks a bit like a kind of beak helmet, like yeah. a beaky helmet, in maybe in a different colour than the beak. Y- yeah, or so you could put foam around the rim. Yeah. Tell me more. Look at the foam on that. I don't mind the foam around the rim. That's nice. <laughs> it's, but I think there is a genuine concern that Mark's saying that you know, yeah. there could be an impact. So that's what the only reason I was thinking to kind of put a kind of a big bulbous padding on the end of it. There might be a couple of kids, you know, chatting. Yeah, chat, uh, you don't chat on this. You know, uh, the pecker comes down. Opens its mouth, yeah. Hoovers up one child, but crushes another, uh, and that is a genuine concern. I think we just have to have a sign up saying "Don't chat." <laughs> no, don't uh, chat. Yeah, <laughs> works with kids, <laughs> doesn't it? Don't, don't chat. Don't risk don't, of death. Don't, yeah. I suppose we do. <laughs> don't chat. Risk of death. <laughs> <laughs> You do have, uh, you do have keep don't your, chat, uh, risk of death. Yeah, yeah, you do. You do have keep your, your hands and the legs. Careless talk costs lives. We could even requ- requisition oh, yeah. some World War II um, oh, propaganda. We've so we've got World War One Tommies in the JT ride. Yeah. We've got uh, World War II careless whispers. Um, <laughs> we'll, we'll get you a visit from Loose George Michael. Ships. Um, but yeah, I think yeah, you do have mm. that's 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 quite common in um, keep your arms and legs in the vehicle yeah. at all times. Yeah, uh, is quite a common. And, uh, yeah. fairground, yeah. theme park, yeah. piece of warning. So Absolutely. Stand by the yellow line. Don't chat. Yeah, don't chat risk of death. All, right. All in favour of Alison Woodbecker, say aye. Three, two, one. Aye. 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 So uh, it's happened. It's really happened. It's happened. It's been a little while, but we have got a Patreon. Callum Lightfoot has sent us a pitch, and it's called Player Manager, Mm -hmm. The Ride. He says, strap yourselves in, lads. What is the greatest moment that can happen in football? It is, of course, when a player manager subs himself on, effectively telling all his players that they are terrible and he'll have to do the job himself. He says... I have a ride idea that will celebrate this moment. Guests will be in a cart that will travel slowly along a track. In the cart will be a laser gun, which the guests will use to shoot at targets as the cart travels along. Mm -hmm. Obviously, these targets will be giant football nets and will be blocked by cutouts of goalkeepers, so the guests can't see too much of the goal. When a guest hits a target, they will receive points, and a leaderboard will be in their cart to show their current score against the other guests. Guests will start out as Kenny Dalgleish, Mm -hmm. attempting to win the double, going up against the likes of Bobby Mims in the 85-86 FA Cup. Ideally, (laughs) this is one for the kids. This is one for Mark. (laughs) Uh, Kenny Dalgleish didn't play in that final. He didn't sub himself on. Oh, maybe there's a twist. He scored the goal that won Liverpool the title the week before against Chelsea. It was 1-0 and he scored it, but he didn't select himself. Did he sub himself on for Liverpool when he managed them again in the 2000s? 
I wish. Oh, it would oh have been that amazing. Would be, yeah. That's a real insult then. Uh, ideally, we'll get the actual Bobby Mims to try and stop guests hitting the target, but a cutout would also be fine. Okay. However, no matter how good they are at hitting the target, the leaderboard will show each guest in the last place performing terribly. As the ride continues, they'll take on the role of Dennis Wise at Millwall. All right, yeah, okay. They'll compete for the 2004 FA Cup, but Tim Howard will be so large that they'll hardly be able to see the target of the goal and feel frustrated that they can't hit it. Quite realistic. Worry will soon hit the players as their performance on the leaderboard is becoming embarrassing. Uh. It's at this point that they realise they are no longer trying to win European Cups or FA Cups, but instead fighting off relegation from League Two as Gareth Ainsworth at Wickham. Oh, yeah. Okay. Nice. Yeah. There's a yeah, developing... Yeah, yeah. There's a, there's I enjoy, a I'm enjoying this. I'm it's, enjoying the, the different... The stroll this through is player the manager most, territory. Yeah, this is the most effort anybody's ever put yeah. into a page. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Callum. Most guests will have no idea who the goalkeepers they are trying to get their laser past are, but they still won't be rising up the leaderboard. At this point, the ride will be stopped by the attendant. They'll tell the guests that they have been awful throughout the ride and told to get off halfway around the track. Right. The ride attendant will then get in the ride themselves. <laughs> not, not going on. And start the ride up once again. Going to have to hire these ride attendants as actors, yeah, basically. I like yeah. this. The ride attendant will hit targets against League Two goalkeepers uh-huh. with ease and will soon rise up the leaderboard. Wow. Meanwhile, the original guests will have to walk around the end of the ride to simulate the long walk back to the changing room after a piss poor performance. Right. Well done, Callum. So, so there's a lot going on. Yeah. Is it? So, so basically, uh, it's a lovely trip through um, player manager sort of history. Yeah. We're going to have to hire. A lot of different attendants to be stopping this ride. The, the, the one thing that I'm confused about, and maybe you two can help me, because Callum's not here with us. He's not died, but he's not, no, he's he's not in the room so with us. Rest <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. He said you start as Kenny Delgleish, yeah, but you're rubbish at the game. So is that kind of despairing about player managers? Just, I think, uh, I think basically, uh, yeah. Well, this is the thing. You're despairing because you are a player you yeah that is confusing there are a lot of other player managers mm. that we've missed viarly yeah yeah hullet zola yeah. both at chelsea jan branca <laughs> zola was player uh, manager graham soonis at rangers uh yes. glenn hoddle at swindon and chelsea well glenn hoddle just thought everyone was crap apart from him yeah. just anyway well, he, he went even right england as well. he would have tried to play player manager at england that's probably why he stopped gaza going at world cup 98 was he was like well there's a birth for me yeah we could almost name this the Glenn Hoddle player manager ride. Yeah. Even um, though he's not in the ride. Even uh, well, ah, I Glenn, think we, we could, could hire Glenn Hoddle to be the attendant. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. And then he would be better than mm. everyone. Give it here. Give me that laser gun. Come <laughs> on. What, why are you firing a laser as well? Uh, well, Callum doesn't want footballs. And I think it's just he's thinking of the costs but, yeah. of firing footballs. Again and again, you can also doctor a laser, can't you? You can make a laser slightly off. Yeah, but slightly off firing a, a laser like a fairground. past the goalkeeper is quite easy, isn't it? I really pissed off an entire hotel once uh, as like a 14-year-old with a laser pen. But it was great fun and it was really good because you could attach um, like different things to the front of it. So it wasn't just like you're shining it in somebody's balcony. Uh. Uh, it was, you know, it'd be like Mickey Mouse on their wall. Oh, yeah. And that's you'd great. switch it and it'd be like a peace sign and stuff like that. Oh, so if you could change the laser gun to have little, you know, a little picture of Kenny, Kenny Dalgleish and then it turns into Dennis Wise. So you know who you are by the laser thingy. That's laser great. Projection. That's great. Because otherwise, how are you going to know who you are? You're not going to have like like a little speaker just going, you're now Dennis no, Wise. Glenn Hoddle is jogging alongside the car <laughs> going, you're, you're, you're Dennis Wise. <laughs> I love it. You know, we don't have any player managers in this, and they're a dying breed. They're, I think, yep. they're like they're like pandas, aren't they? They don't mate. <laughs> yeah, like I you, mean, have you ever? Is Glenn that, Hoddle and like Kenny Dalglish were in a room for a couple of years, and yeah. there was no sexy times Just being at all. Bamboo, weren't they? Yeah, they showed no interest in each other. Yeah, and it's like the whole of like St. Petersburg Zoo were like, Jesus, come, come on, on, we need we you want some a little shag. Come on, Hoddle but, Dalglish. I guess uh, managers are getting younger and younger. Mm. So there uh, is so on there might the horizon. be more chance of them mating. Yeah. Oh, 
Yeah. Oh, you mean because they're more virile? Is that right. what you're saying? No, I just thought that we were going to maybe get some more player managers soon. Oh, I managers see. Because they're younger. younger. Yeah, yeah, like Frank Lampard coming out of retirement. Or Ooh. let's vote on Callum Lightfoot then. Yeah, well done. Um, so all those in favour of that going in football land, say hi after three. One, two, three. Hi. Oh, congratulations, well Callum Lightfoot. Callum. Get your well patrons done, in. Yeah. Get your ride ideas into us. We will discuss them on football land, yeah. and they will become a real ride. That is a guarantee. Young man, or girl. we're building football land. I said, Young man, or girl, we could do with a hand. I said, Young man, or girl, do you understand? You could get in on this. You need to head on to P A T R E O M L P A T R. Send us whatever you think It might be good, it might stink We will talk about it anyway You need to head on to P-A-T-R and now P-A-T-R Chuck in a couple of pounds We'll bat your thoughts all around And it might just make our day Send us your ideas at patreon.com forward slash footballland Thank you. Thank you. Good. Oh, that's it. That's oh, it. Another, oh, another it's episode. Come it's come to an end already. Thank you so much. What a lovely, lovely time we've lovely, had lovely. at Football Town. Nice to have Patreon town. back. Yeah. yeah, that was good. Just put your feet up and just sort of... Yeah, yeah just let someone else do the yeah. work. And that's yes. why we set the Patreon up. We don't yeah. need the money. We've we got a billion pound, dollars. Yeah. Minus a laptop and a pen. Yeah. Uh, we expense. just and need expenses. to do less My work. Expenses. And that really helps when people yeah. send in your ride ideas. And please do. So keep sending yeah. them in. Yep. All right, then. Yeah, all right. All right. Okay, See you next time. Bye-bye. See you next time. Bye-bye. 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 Bye